I'ma treat you like I got nothing left to live for I'ma play some Hey what's up guys this is your power back again so today's video is all about you know how to deal with shoulder injury okay so it's not a matter of how you get it it's a matter of when you get it in your lifetime if you are you know working out or playing any sports you would get in shoulder injury and this video is about how to instantly re uh, relieve okay so how do I know everything about it I'm a ISSA certified personal trainer and a nutrition expert and I've done my masters in science so I'm kind of a geek, I study everything, okay, so basically, okay, this is for, this video is for someone who wants to get instant relief on your shoulders, there are tons of other videos, if you want to check them out, go check them out, and if you have the money to go to a chiropractor or physiotherapist or, you know, muscle activation therapy techniques and all that, they're going to charge you money and it's the same thing I'm going to share with you. So basically we'll get the root of it, okay, this is the clavicle, this is the scapula, I don't want to go in much detail and all that, I just want to give you exactly, you know, just a little explanation about it so you come to know, so this is like your uh, a, a shoulder socket and this is your shoulder, uh, you know, your shoulders attached to it, so whenever you get a shoulder injury, okay, so you get that clicking or that tuck tuck noise, okay, so this means, you know, your shoulders are not at all perfect, in the back of your shoulders, there's this rotator cuff muscles okay so they're holding it back literally when you do that so the, your joint is out of your thing so that causes uh, uh, shoulder pain so there are a couple of exercises I'm gonna show it to you and a little yoga routine I do every day for my ba back because there's this anterior pelvic tilt posterior pelvic tilt where you're when you're sitting at the office your back is paining so I'm gonna do a video about that as well this video is more focused about uh, shoulder injury so basically I have this whole book okay like I like literally like big whole book about reading it so about your body so you know how do you I'll just tell you how do you get a shoulder injury by falling or by throwing or by some impact you know you catch a ball there's this impact when you hold your tight you know shoulders are kind of your out of the socket and then they hit back so there's this impact on your socket okay and okay and then how is it caused you know one of the reasons in the gym it's your bench pressing technique okay so basically you have your shoulders if you could see her okay you could see yeah perfect so this is there are three heads of your uh, shoulders okay so if you could see this is the front okay this is the front of your shoulders this is the lateral head of your shoulders and this is the rear you know your rear del delt of your shoulders so there are three heads the front the middle and the rear Delt, okay, so you need to train everything of it, and most of the people who try to bench, I'm talking about someone who's got injury, okay, so and their bench press, okay, bench press would be you know, whenever you're doing, you need to put your chest up, always stand proud when you're in the gym, and whenever you're doing chest presses, I've seen most of the people, you know, the shoulders are in front, so literally, you know, your shoulders are working, okay, if you could see your shoulders are working, not your chest, so literally, you have chest to you know, stick back your shoulders. Retract your shoulder scapula. Okay, this is your scapula, the bone. You have to just retract it and try to bench presses. Okay, so and you know one of the reasons people get shoulder pain is overtraining, you know, and muscle imbalance. Imbalance. Okay, so literally why your shoulder starts paining is because if you know you try to use the same muscle again and again and again and again and again. This is for someone who's even not related to working out and all that, but someone you know trying to just work out that same muscle again and again and again and the rest of the muscles so imagine this is your muscle which is working and around that none of the muscles are working so this gets really tired okay and literally and all these muscles get literally around it get weak so you need to make them strong so whenever you're stretching okay so this is one exercise i'm going to show it to you uh if i put it down yeah so literally you have to this is you need to train your rotator cuff muscles okay so this is the rotator cuff muscles are holding your shoulder joint and everything so lit literally you know your this thing is your hands out of socket but literally your rotator cuffs holds it down back again and you know helps that thing back in your socket so let, let's get directly get into your exercises this is one thing you need to put your hands like this behind and try to re and try to retract your shoulders okay and try to push it down okay so this is what's happening is you're trying to uh, you're trying to train your rotator cuff muscles and so this is how and there are two or three more exercises I'll, I'm gonna go in the gym and show it to you and this one more exercise is try to stick back your hand 
okay and try to just touch your hand above so this is like literally you have to touch your hand above okay and then try to do this so do this 10 times try to touch your both the hands like this 10 times one two three and you'll get this sound duck 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 you'll get this sound you know that something's wrong and then literally you know, the, i mean from your try to try to protract this is protracting okay so then this is retracting and this is protracting so you literally have to just do, do this 10 times so literally you have to do this 10 times and with this 10 times and, and there are a couple of exercises in the gym though i'll tell you how to train more of your rotator cuff muscles so literally you have to just do this i'm gonna there's a small footage i'm gonna show you and a little yoga routine where i do every day to get a peace of mind and uh, you get a peace of mind and you know you you are you train your back you you be really flexible and and oh, one more thing you need to be your own scientist of your body okay you need to figure out why it's not working why is it if you're getting a back pain so you literally you know some other muscles are weak and that muscle is really you know just working out and the other muscles are getting and they're not working out so it's just simple common sense use your common sense and get to know it and that's awesome and this is my take on how to deal with shoulder injury and trust me wherever you go literally i had this shoulder injury from the past uh, three four months i spent a lot of money um uh, i went to the chiropractor and you know physiotherapist guy and literally he was like you know telling me just to do this that's it and i was doing it from the past two three you know maybe my doctor wasn't right but then literally i became my own because i have a thing of figuring out what to do i keep on reading things and on top of that, I knew that, you know, uh, this is how you do it. So this was something, I got this shoulder, in the, uh, sh shoulder injury before I got my, you know, before I started my certification, everything in, you know, personal training and sports science and everything. So before that, and after that, I knew, you know, just use your common sense. And it was just, just you know, like if you get a shoulder injury, just figure out how it works. And then, you know, you just need to recover. And I'll show you a couple of exercises and that's it. So hey guys, what's up? This is me in the gym. Um, yeah, why well, is for yawer? Okay, anyways, you need to take this literally a small, dump, small weight dumbbell and try to do this for your rotator cuff muscle. This helps you make it strong. Um, I suggest you know you you can do it before workout just to warm up or do it after your workout. But when you have a shoulder injury, make sure you know you try to protract and retract as I showed you in the in my previous video. And this is really easy. Just do it ten, ten, you know, ten times and two sets or three sets. Again, this is the same, you know, it's a different variation. If you could see my shoulder griddle, see if you could see that my, you know, it's retracting and and everything is going perfect. And this is, you know, making your the rotator cuff muscle, which is behind your shoulder, literally strong. Yes, my gym is a little crowded. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it and you go on the other side there's one more variation you could put it down and you could do this and again you could see it's going all the way to the back you know and i'm making sure i more focus my mind on that shoulder grid on my shoulder and you could see my whole shoulder is moving up and now it's just not with the hand and just it's um it's my shoulders and that's it and this another thing if you don't have the cables at home or nothing like that you could use these dumbbells or what I do if I'm at home, I go, I do it with a water bottle and I do it. And th this is a different variation again. And that's it. And awesome. And make sure you should stand proud in the gym. Yeah, this is one more thing which I showed you back. Try to retract and, you know, push it down. See, retract and push it down. Exactly. This is the way you do it. And that's it. so if you could see right now i'm just doing a yoga pose right now so this is i do it every day in the morning just to keep my mind focused and to keep my joints healthy because you have this novel fluid in between your joints and all that so it helps you keep your joints healthy and you won't get injury as well you'll be injury free so in the first thing in the morning i do this is thing trying to do this 10 times and then again this is for your back and this is for your shoulders as well this is really good if you do this every day and i think so you'll be you know injury free okay and that's like and you know it's good i guess everything you know try doing it you know 10 times 
and try making this in habit okay doing meditation doing yoga is really good and with that inhale and exhale from your nose okay that's really helpful you know try to join your hands and try to make your shoulder retract and then join your hands again okay i couldn't <laughs> feel uh, okay so i'm stretching my back again and again going down literally that stretching my back back and so this is a morning routine so you know you try to stretch everything in the morning see again this is a thing for your shoulders i'm retracting and retracting and making sure my you know my rotator cuff muscles are really good and different things as well okay now the next thing would be oh uh, yeah i'm joining my legs okay i'm taking a little back because it's perfect okay yeah okay so again i'm joining my hands and trying to retract my shoulders again oh i couldn't <laughs> that's the wall came yeah again and then going down and i think so in yoga this is called you know i think so this is called a cobra pose yeah see i could feel the pain in the back stretch stretching it okay again i'm coming up i'm stretching my hamstrings okay and relaxing and relaxing my face now this is a cat and camel stretch this is like the best exercise for your back okay it helps you see i'm doing it on sideways you could see you know like literally cat and camel so you know you do you know your back is getting fully stretched again this is again you're extending your back your hands your arms your lats and okay and this is for your hip flexors and for your back as well and see i came all the way down it will take time for you all guys to come down all the way down till there and then then that's called a you know uh this is again for again for your hips for your back okay and this literally is really difficult and you feel the you know not the pain but then and this is something you know if you have an anterior pelvic tilt this is really good for you because literally your hip flexors are really by sitting all the way in, like you know in the office or your wherever you're sitting your muscles get stiff so if you do this every day you won't have pain at all and this is called a bridge that's like you know you're stretching all the way and you feel and it's good for your you know brain as well because all the blood all these oxygenated blood comes on your head and it's good okay and that's awesome i think so that's i'm done right here and there's one more thing i'm trying to stand on my head this is a new thing which i learned and i think so i nailed it okay if, if someone could give me some tips and all that i try to you know put my knees on my elbows first I try to see it's one the other one and try to do it go slowly 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 and you know after I do this <laughs> you know you feel really good because all these oxygenated blood comes in your head and I think so I am um, then this is an inhale and exhale for 10 times it's a <laughs> yeah I'm done perfect awesome hope you like the video please hit the subscribe button below your power signing on if you really like the video hit the subscribe button and support the channel i'm going to make more video